Hello everybody! Welcome to Kids Town! I hope you're having a great Christmas season. I wanted to ask you, what are some of your favorite things that you've done so far as you've been celebrating Christmas this whole month? Maybe it's something you saw, or something you got to do, or bake, or a Christmas present you're hoping you get. What's your favorite thing so far? Let's all shout it out together. Are you ready? On the count of three, and then you're just gonna yell out your thing. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> okay. I was gonna say, I love looking at Christmas lights. What did you say? Well, whatever it is, there is so much to love about Christmas, but the best part is the reason why we celebrate Christmas. And we've been talking about that all month. In fact, it's our life app. Christmas means celebrating Jesus. And he's God's greatest gift. You know, knowing Jesus gives us hope and joy all year long, not just at Christmas time. And even though Christmas will soon be over, we're gonna still be celebrating around here. And today, as we're getting ready to burn off some of those calories of all the Christmas cookies we've been eating, I thought it'd be fun to do a little Christmas dance-off game. Are you guys ready? Do you feel like you've got moves? Well, get on your feet and show us how to get down with a little thing I like to call Christmas moves. All right. Here we go. Hey guys, it's time to play Smooth Moves Christmas Style, where I make a Christmas move and you make one too. Yeah! Pass out the gifts. to ride the camel. Janine. I'm your host, Miss Janine, and we have a great show planned for you today. Now, normally we have our guests here in the studio for our interviews, but with all the pandemic restrictions and all that's going on out there, we've set up a FaceTime call with our special guests today in their own home. Who are they, you ask? And what's so special about today's guests? Well, you're about to find out. But first, let me set it up for you. As you might have heard, Jesus was born in a small town called Bethlehem. And today we're going to talk to some people who saw Jesus soon after he was born. 
with their own two eyes. I'm talking about a group of shepherds who are hanging out in the fields. What is a shepherd? And what do they do? Hmm, I'm glad you asked. Let's go to some actual footage of our guests from a feature film that came out a few years ago that tells their whole story. We'll go to that now. A shepherd is a boy or a girl who watches sheep and they have these staff. So like if the sheep go off a cliff, they can do it and grab their wrist and pull them back. Joseph is a shepherd because he takes care of sheep with his staff. Now I'm pretty sure he was a builder guy or something like that. She really do not grass. And if there's no grass in the field, then we go starving. I love steak, macaroni and cheese, and pizza. My favorite thing to eat is protein. I love tacos. So these folks had an important job. They were keeping their sheep safe and protecting them from wild animals. And yet, they seem so much like everyday ordinary people. People you'd just see maybe around your church, right? People like you and me. Well, let's go to that interview and meet them now. Welcome to Interviews with Janine. And it's great to have both of you with us today. It's great to be here, Miss Janine. Anything for the kids. So I have a question for you guys. Who's watching your sheep right now while you're interviewing with me? From the movie, it looks like they can really be a handful. <laughs> with all the shelter in place, we decided to move them to the backyard. The neighbors love us. Hey, no more mowing for me. It's a win. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get right into your story, shall we? So, on the night Jesus was born, you were out in the fields doing your shepherd thing, just like every other day. And tell us what happened next. And an angel appeared out of nowhere. Ooh. Wow. Have you ever seen an angel before? No, I was so startled almost to death. Hey, I think I may have just peed a little. <laughs> Extraordinary. What did the angel say to you? Don't be afraid, I have good news. I bring joy to all the people. I think we have a clip on that from our major motion oh, picture. God. Oh yeah, great. Let's go to that now. An angel popped into the sky and scared them really bad. The angel said, do not be afraid. Do not fear me. I'm an angel. I have good news. There's a baby born in Bethlehem. His name is Jesus, and he's going to be the king of all the people. How do we find him? And if I recall, the angel gave you details so you could find the baby. Yeah, the city of David, that's Bethlehem, you know. Fun fact, Bethlehem stands for house of bread, and Jesus called himself the bread of life. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, and another thing, they said we'd find him in a stable, in a manger wrapped in cloths. If he'd been born in a house or a hotel, we would never have been invited. But a stable? Hello, Hello that's, that's our, our kind, kind of place. place. <laughs> then it turned into an awesome party. There was music, singing, it was amazing. They were singing glory to God, highest in the heaven. And peace to those who place their hope in God. That is great news. Huh, so did you leave right away to find the baby? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there was a little bit of dilly-dally because someone had to race all the way. I won! Is he crying like really loud like babies do? He's in a stable behind the label wins house. That's weird. You cannot miss it. I lost a tooth. The tooth where he took it. It hurt so bad I was about to cry and then I did. It's one as fast as we can see the baby. Well, race ya. I can run really fast in these shoes. So you found him in a stable, just like the angel told you? You had to be so excited. And of course, you ran out and told everybody everything you'd seen and heard, right? We were just amazed that God decided to tell us first. Yeah, we're just shepherds. Nobody tells us anything first. Some people wouldn't believe us because we are shepherds. 
we get a bad rap. Aww. Well, the kids and I have been focusing on Christmas all month, and it seems like God's favorite thing to do is surprise us. He seems to choose people that no one else would choose to do his most amazing work. In fact, hmm, that reminds me of the bottom line for our teach today, which is God's peace is for everyone. And that means you too, my shepherd friends, and all our friends out here too. All right, let's give it up for my friends, Charlie and Suzanne. Keep up the good work and good luck with your project in the backyard with the sheep grazing thing. And thank you for Bye. joining us yeah. on Interviews yeah. with Janine. Yeah! The angels told the shepherds that peace was coming to the earth through Jesus. And when you trust Jesus as your Savior, He gives you a peace inside that nothing can take away. And there are lots of things in this life that can make us feel worried or afraid. And when we focus on them, we feel that fear. But when we turn to Jesus, He gives us the peace we need to get through those tough times. So, when you feel nervous, stop and talk to God. Remember, all the things that he's done for you, how he's always taken care of you, and remember his promise to never leave you. He's gonna stay with you and help you through the worst days of your life and the best days of your life. And he's bigger than anything you could face. Let's pray as we go out today. We're gonna worship and we're gonna pray and we're gonna celebrate that Jesus is our peace. Will you pray with me? Snap, snap, clap. Lord, thank you so much for this reminder that your message of peace is for everyone. Whether we're a shepherd or an adult or a child or whatever, your message of peace is for everyone who puts their trust in you. So Lord, I just pray that my friends will remember to call out to you in those moments when they need peace. Thank you for coming and bringing us the greatest gift ever. And all gets God's kids said, Amen. All right, you guys, we're going to worship right now as we go out. I hope you'll just spread out in the room and take some time. We're going to have some songs and we're just going to worship out today as we celebrate all that God's done for us. All right. We never get tired of this song. Play your guitar with that little snowman. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And let the nature sing. And let the nature sing. And
get this. Are you ready? Woohoo! I hope you're ready to jump. This is a jumping song. The Lord is my strength and my shield, and I will trust Him through anything. He's my helper. The Lord is my strength. And my shield and I will trust him through anything he's my helper and I'm never never alone God is with me as time marches on all right let's jump I'm jump jump jumping for joy I'm shouting
Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll see you here next week. If you've been enjoying some of these clips of our SBCC staff and the Christmas story that I've been showing as I tell the story, you can watch the entire uh, feature in the description below of this video. It is so much fun. It's about seven minutes long, and I would suggest that you all sit down and watch it because it's a ton of fun. I wanted to let you know about that in case you've never seen it before, and it's full length.